The operator lookup performs a left outer join, meaning it adds data to an input collection, usually the collection you're running the query on, from a lookup collection, which is whatever collection you want data from, as long as both collections are on the same database. This tutorial uses the customer's dataset as our input collection and the Chicago affordable housing dataset as our lookup collection, both of which are available online at studio3t.com. The customer's collection is our input collection. Let's say we want to add data to it from the housing collection, but only for documents that are in the same area as our customers. We can do this by using lookup on zip codes. The customer's collection has a field called address.zip underscore code. Similarly, the housing collection has a field called zip code. We can use these two fields to perform an equality match. An equality match requires that the data in the two collections match exactly to be passed through. To do this, right-click on the input collection, in our case, customers, and choose Open Aggregation Editor. This will launch the aggregation editor. Click on the Add New Stage icon. Choose Lookup from the drop-down menu. Lookup requires you to define a From field, which specifies the lookup collection to perform the join with, in this case, the housing collection. In addition, you need to define the local field, which is the field from the input documents to use in the equality match, as well as the foreign field, which is the field from the lookup documents to use. In this example, the local field is address.zip underscore code, and the foreign field is zip code. Lastly, we'd like to create a new field called address.zip underscore code dot affordable underscore housing underscore options in our input collection. You do this by defining the as field. This is where we'll embed the output documents from our local collection. It's worth noting here that if the specified name already exists in the input document, the existing field will be overwritten. Show the output from this stage. For a quick visual check, the best way is to use Table View. Right-click anywhere in the Results tab and choose Show All Embedded Fields to expand all of Address's embedded fields. You should see our new field, Affordable Housing Options. Remember, we only have affordable housing information for Chicago zip codes, so not all customers will have values in this new field. Click on the column header to sort the results in descending order. Scroll to the left and you should see Maria Kelly as the first result. Right-click on the entry and choose Document, View Document, JSON. You should see two affordable housing options nested under the zip underscore code field. From here, you can pass these results into the next stage of the pipeline. For more great tips and tricks on how to get the most out of Studio 3T, subscribe to our YouTube channel or watch our videos on the next stages of this aggregation pipeline, Project and Out.